Hello everyone for another exciting episode of the Pihus of Epirus campaign. We will play the fourth scenario, Savor of the Greeks, on hard difficult as well. That scenario was really good. It was I was about to restart, but then I was reborn from the ashes, and that was very, very amazing. Despite suffering two crushing defeats, the Romans quickly recouped their strength. They refused to sign any peace treaty so long as Pyrrhus remained in Italy. Seeing no clear way forward, Pyrrhus turned his gaze to Sicily. Much like in Italy, the Greek colonies here were threatened by foreign invasion, this time from the Carthaginian Empire and its Mamertine allies. Carthage had dominated the Western Sea for centuries with its wealth and vast mercenary armies. Despite this, its grip on Sicily was tenuous, as the rugged island was difficult for any conqueror to hold. But if any man could succeed in ruling Sicily, Pyrrhus reasoned that it would be him. All right. Now let's go to Sicily. We have plenty of battles. I think Age of Empires 2, traditional Age of Empires 1. But we had plenty of battles in Sicily in Age of Empires series in the original campaigns now. So, and even a civilization based on Sicilians. So that's pretty cool. Main objectives. Kill the Mamertines besieging Syracuse. Secondary objectives. Defeat the Car Carthaginian suppliers to weaken your enemy's economies. I probably will pay attention to do that. Because in the last scenario, I wasn't paying attention to hinder the supplies from the Romans. And they were almost crushing me. So Pihus can reach the Iron Age and support population of 100. Build up quickly and send your army to Syracuse, or the city will soon fall to the Mamertines. The Artagians do not yet consider you a serious threat. Use this opportunity to quickly help your Greek allies. Command your allies in Syracuse to attack by placing flares on the map. Oh, that's good. Your enemies can support larger populations than you. To offset this, liberate the local Sicilian towns, which will support you with resources. Good to know. Remember times, keep the loot stolen from Sicilian locals stored in supply depots that dot countryside. Destroy these to take the loot for yourself. The Carthaginian holdings are well fortified. Use your discount siege engines to overcome them. Mm. Okay. For scouts, Pyrrhus Green has established his small base in Sicily, from which he intends to strike out at the Mamertines and the Carthaginians, controlling most of the island. In the east lies the last free Greek town of Syracuse, to orange to provide you with the resource and help you against Carth Carthaginians, but expects you to do the heavy lifting. Scattered across the islands are various Sicilian towns, three great occupied by the Mamertines, four blue, a renegade band of mercenaries hailing from Italy. Much like you, the Mamertines were once invited by the Greek cities as protectors, but they soon turned to raiding them instead. The Mamertines were to roll hordes fiercely, but are unlikely to stray far from them. Mm. The south lies Lilia Bion. Six Cyan, a town under Carthaginian control. It will be one of her chief opponents and send four armies consisting of archers and siege engines. Oh, so there is even this. Uh, the Carthaginian army, five purple, camps to the west. This powerful enemy will try to drive you out with armies of cavalry and infantry. Carth Carthaginians are a very good civilization. Very good with elephants and also very good with navy. I need to take some extra care against them. I feel that they're as powerful as the Romans. Uh, in terms of civilization. Romans were very tough, so that scenario. Very good civilization. Let's go. Ooh. Quick march, men. If Syracuse falls, we will have no hope of liberating the rest of Sicily. All right. Bombus. Bombus. Parai. Bombus. Bombus. Yuri. Lare. So we get 100. I guess 3 PCs, maybe? Or maybe. Yeah. Let's try with dogs and PCs. Nearly all of Sicily remains under enemy control. We must drive the Carthaginians and Mamertines from every corner of the island if we are to liberate these people. Be 
Blizzard Supply Depot. I hear that you brought the Romans to shame twice, Pyrrhus. As much as I commend the effort, I cannot allow you to repeat that. Sicily is not for anyone. Logan, you have our thanks, my lord. These mercenaries have festered us for far too long. We will give you what little we can, and I am sure that the nearby villages will do the same. Never fear, men! As long as I remain standing, I will fight right alongside you! We had these poor Sicilians well, well protected in our stores. And then you came along and stole it from us. I mean, from them. What a disgrace. Logan? Rogan? Bombus. Bombus. Abadactus. Arachus. Arachus. Alamas. Yuri. Thomas. Yuri. Alamas. Ebotade. Lares. Ebotade. Alamas, 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 Alamas,
Nada y importaré. Are we facing? Yeah, essentially Carthaginians. Bummer times are Romans. Oh, that's why they were giving a tough fight against me. Uh, and Syracuse and Sicilian towns are also a problem. Much more population. Um, um, this, um, this. Probably we can have maybe because we liberated uh, allies. Maybe that's the reason. Aisa. 
You are true to your reputation, Pyrrhus. Sweeping in at the last second to save us all. Syracuse and all Greeks in Sicily owe you thanks. You attack there? We have our swordsmen. And our bowmen. And our axemen. But, uh... We're a bit light in cavalry. Alam, alam, alam. On this. Welcome. On this. On this. On this. have liberated the Sicilian heartland. Now the Carthaginians have nowhere to hide but their coastal holdings. Let any man come who dares face me. I am invincible. Ooh. Last night, I dreamed that Mount Etna awoke from her slumber and buried your army in hot magma. Imagine my disappointment to wake up and find you still here. Oh, they are here as well. Alright. Hello, hello, 
Lamas. Lamas. Rogan? Thomas. 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 Thomas.
Bombay. Way up, way up. This will double my population with the houses. It's a bug because we were supposed to have 100 and have a lot of difficulties while playing this scenario. One of our strongholds. We must reinforce our positions as soon as possible. If the Carthaginians are sending reinforcements, we must change our tactics. We have asked little of the locals so far, but we will need everything they can supply us with if we are to win this war. Ooh, with the government center and sent out confiscated resources. Be aware if that you do this, the locals will no longer pay you tribute. All right, very good. Yuri, Pilare, Yuri, Okay, time to get more mineral resources. Right. 
For you, this is how you treat us. You are even worse than the Carthaginians. We will never accept you as a king. <laughs> With friends like you, the Sicilians need no enemies. Yeah, that was a very bloody battle. Had to get some extra resources as a last measure, but still, it was pretty good. GG. Very, very interesting, I, I would say. Very well designed map. Very, very good to explore around and see the many possibilities that you have to face your enemy. Excellent scenario. Pyrrhus had bested another great empire. Yet, as so many times before, his victory was short-lived. As the war dragged on, he became increasingly suspicious of the Greeks who had called him there. Their refusal to give everything to the war effort was, in his mind, akin to treason. When he executed one of the men who had invited him to Sicily in the first place, the public turned against him. Pyrrhus, they claimed had become just the sort of tyrant they had wanted to escape. With the entire island in revolt, it seemed that Pyrrhus was out of options. Yeah, you did bad after all that fight. And I also made sure to get the resources. Uh, I got an absurd amount at the ending of the scenario. Thought that there would be some last battle that I would need to invest, but still. Yeah, and I almost get my Iron Age after one hour, uh, after one half hour. 
a lot of villagers so that was a good eco and yeah very good and a good q and f ratio I think it was a fair and legit play. Oh, there is some gold here. Ooh. There was an eruption here going on. I did not pay attention while I was playing, so I think you only get this detail if you are... If you are after the scenario, it's, it has ended. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. Very, very nice. Never saw anything like that. Uh, very good, a volcano. And we did. We had a very, very good battle here, utilizing the sea. And that was very good. We could use very well, even though they are extremely good in, with Navy. We could surpass the capabilities of them and then use my right. army of centurions against them and that that was a totally walk inside his base while he was attacking here which was pretty cool by the way then i had to invest in some infantry units but very good very very good gg folks thanks for watching if you like my uh, my content please like and subscribe because it means everything for me and GG, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode, which will be the final one. And this one has one last achievement for us, uh, along with the achievement that you get after finishing the campaign.